in this video, I'm gonna talk about span or port mirroring. So, span <clears throat> stands for switch port analyzer. So, suppose that uh, you have uh, some issues on your switched uh, environment and uh, for example in this <clears throat> topology here um, you've got some kind of issues uh, that you want uh, that exists that exist on this particular uh, topology and you and you want to uh, listen in or monitor the traffic the traffic <coughs> uh, coming in and going out of this port uh, gig uh, one slash one um, so you can just uh, connect a a network analyzer I mean or a host that, that runs a network analyzer uh, for example in this on this topology, I connect. I connected a network an, uh, an analyzer <coughs> to a gig one slash twenty four. You can you cannot connect that uh, analyzer to the switch and and uh, you know uh, monitor the the traffic coming in and going into. Uh, to this port uh, because uh, the switch uh, you know how it works right uh, it forwards the frame uh, it forwards the frames based on its destination MAC address so uh, If this switch here doesn't know, doesn't know yet the the uh, destination destination MAC address uh, of this uh, host here, it will forward that. I mean, it, it will flood uh, that destination address to all the ports except the except. <clears throat> the port that it received on, right? So your an analyzer will only receive broadcast or multicast uh, frames or packets. So uh, what you need to do here is actually uh, enable a, a uh, Cisco Catalyst Cisco Catalyst switch feature called span so so you know it, it is possible to listen in or monitor the the traffic coming in and going into uh, this port here so there are two types of span um, local span and remote span. So local span, uh, it is um, a span station that only exists that only exists on a local switch. For example, this is this topology here. Uh, this is where we can use local span. Because the the uh, source port is connected to the same switch, and I mean the source and destination ports are connected to the same switch. So, yeah. Uh, remote span. This is where your uh, source port is located on a. Uh, different switch than your uh, from your destination port. For example, uh, 
your, your source port is here and this switch is connected to another switch and that switch is connected to another switch so that's why it's called remote scan so <clears throat> yeah uh, I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna talk more about remote span in the next video but <clears throat> for now let's concentrate on uh, local span so this is how you uh, would configure local scan uh, the configuration is very simple <clears throat> uh, notice that you configure it uh, in the global configuration so uh, monitor session this uh, this is the session number and source uh, interface so in our example we are using this port as the source uh, port and both uh, this is uh, whether you want to monitor the incoming or outgoing traffic so by default uh, you don't have you don't have to uh, put or to add both uh, because by default it uh, monitors the incoming and outgoing uh, traffic on this port anyway so and this is how you would configure the, the destination uh, destination port so so monitor session you have to make sure that the station number is the same and destination interface so this is our destination port where the analyzer or sniffer is connected to and <clears throat> of course uh, if you want to verify uh, your span session or the configuration, uh, you can uh, use show monitor and of course uh, you can also uh, do a show run include monitor and it will show the actual configurations that you, that you did. So yeah, that's it for scan or port mirroring and uh, just to <clears throat> reiterate uh, in this example we are uh, using local scan so yeah I thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video for remote session I mean remote scan so I'll see you there thanks